Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Combo Breaker 2019. We are here with Skullgirls. I, the Crank Machine, will be co-hosting the ever-so-talented TBD. TBD here. Ah, uh, train. TBD here. Yeah. Uh, How are you doing tonight? Here. I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Dude, this bracket looks stacked. Dude, it is. This is the best like top 24 you could see in a very long time. We've had Absolutely. many people, top people from all around the world coming by. Uh, and this is one of the best locations that anyone could be at currently. Oh, absolutely. The biggest tournament of Skullgirls of the year, and I, I, year after year, it has definitely been that way, and we've definitely had such a killer showing. Uh, huge upsets throughout um, all of the brackets. Oh, we course. had uh, Rat Baby coming out of nowhere, knocking Sonic into losers. I that know, was a right? big highlight. Oh, that was awesome. Even Sev uh, beaten Sage. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of Sev, uh, so right now we have what looks like... Well, Sev will be coming up soon. Right now we have what looks like uh, Dango versus Mr. Peck. Oh. Yeah, Mr. Peck was actually telling me about how neither player seems to be super comfortable in this matchup. Hmm. Uh, they haven't really played each other since 2014. And, I mean, right now it definitely does seem that Dango is controlling the pace right away, putting a decent amount of hurt right onto uh, Mr. Peck's Peacock. Yeah. Uh, trying to deal with this pressure seems very, very difficult with in a pick Peacock mirror match. Mm -hmm. The beat extend assist coming through. Uh, that block's done. Not able to really get their way out of there. Not able to time a push block to get past that grab, unfortunately. Mm. Ooh, very nice okay. catch. Yeah, good catch on the uh, beat extend. Dango able to back off, start throwing things out. Just try to stay comfortable as possible, build as much meter as they can. Yeah, Peck trying to do the best as he can, trying to get in, using his beams to do as much as he can to uh, re reduce the space that... Uh, Peck, or Dang Dango's given. Yeah. So Peacock versus Robo, who do you think does a better job controlling the pace of the match? Uh, I want to say Peacock. Want to say Peacock? Yeah. yeah. Robo has, has good ability to control the match, but you have to be in a certain space to get to that point, though. Mm. Definitely. And this is exactly what I was looking for, Mr. Peck trying to find an opportunity to safely DHC in his parasol, and it definitely showed like immediately was able to take control of the pace. Mm. Uh, wise man once told me that Parasol versus Peacock is horrifying until you get in on Peacock, and then Peacock just dies. Yeah, of course. Um, once Peacock gets out, though, it becomes a much different game. Although that will not definitely not be happening this match. <laughs> uh, beat extend <laughs> does no. catch Parasol. They have to replay the space. Painwell trying to gain some height. It's actually really risky to jump while Painwell is flying around because Painwell does gain extra height on the screen to be able to fly around even more, mm. control more space against their opponent. Was able to get a hit confirm and a clean conversion. This should be enough to kill. I don't even think they'll need to spend any meter unless they want to convert serve uh, some on Dizzy. No, it just actually uses up all that on Dizzy. Yeah. Raw tags in for his brass, uh, gives up the incoming setup on the process. Nice block, does not make a save with light brass. That's okay. Oh, heavy beat extend. Ooh, Trying nice. to anticipate the grab. All right, shouldn't need a reset here. Should be able to kill. No, but oh, drops. no, drops. Interesting. Ooh. Okay, well, that SSJ was enough to seal the deal. Of course. Good stuff. So, Dango will be taking the first round. Good stuff by Dango. Both players are playing really well. Yeah, absolutely. All right, going to match two. To match two? I wonder how the round starts going to be. I wonder if they see if any of the players chooses to be a little bit more aggressive. No, they both just back off and try to be gain control the pace of the match as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. There's a very good assist call by Dango at the round start. Uh, make sure that Peck doesn't do anything crazy. Airshot George is just being eaten up by Big Ben and calling out that beat extend assist. Just bodyguard for Peacock. Dango does opt to teleport in, then call oh. beat extend assist one more time, but unfortunately mistimes the pressure just a little bit. Mr. Peck finds an escape and is able to use teleport to uh, iframe through the explosion of their own Lenny. Do amazing damage onto that band. Probably looking for an opportunity to get a hit confirm into a snap. Oh, almost had it there. No clean conversion. Ooh. Very good assist call, trying to keep that pinwheel out. Uh, Peck just wanted to make sure he has control of the match. Is able to get the grab though, is on onto Dango. Oh, taunts! Woo! That cannot have been on purpose. No. I feel like he probably wanted to convert with a meter, like a Lenny or a me uh, Yeah, there we go, beam super right there. Gets another grab, is able to pull it off just fine. That item drop seals the deal. All that red health disappearing on Big Ban. Red health can be... Like, a lot of people don't consider red health damage mm -hmm. to be very legitimate because it does all come back eventually. Yeah, at uh, some point. Yeah, at some point, but not if they are tagged in like that or snapped in as an alternative. Oh, oh eats the Lenny explosion. Does not ch chooses not to iframe through, just uses the beam server to seal the deal. Both peacocks die. 
That's crazy. Oh, very nice parries onto the beam. Uh, Big Band is now having to try to get in, doing what he can against uh, Peck. Yeah. Generally uh, considered the worst matchup in the game, although Big Band does have specific tools that help them out in this situation especially. But oh, there we go. All you have to do is get up close to Robo Fortune. There's not much Robo Fortune can do against Big Band. This pressure is incredibly powerful. Immediately seals the deal on Robo Fortune. Now this matchup is a little bit more honest. Oh, but the <laughs> jump. LP. Yeah, did not have an incoming setup really no. prepared, so <laughs> that jumping LP was all he needed to seal the deal. Dango and not losing his cool though, he seems pretty relaxed. He's like, yeah, th I knew yeah, that was going to happen. It's whatever. Yeah. No, both players seem to be very calm and relaxed and understand what needs to be done. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, all right. These two are definitely veterans of the industry. On to game three, currently 1-1. One, one. Uh, both players doing fantastic. Okay, calling out Pillar, just trying to make sure the opponent's space is controlled. Can't let Peacock, or not Peacock, can will get a little bit too close in. Went for the uh, Hatred Guard low. Definitely very powerful. Eats the burst with the Hatred Guard. Oh, catches Peck hitting a button. Oh, resets. Funky oh, crossover. Uh-oh. All right, good combo coming down from Dango. Should yeah, clean conversions here. Yes. All right, seals the deal. Again, opts to use a little bit more on Dizzy and saves the meter. Calls him Peacock during the incoming. Mm -hmm. Probably a really smart move, even though you give up incoming there. Uh, opting to conserve all of that meter means that Peacock is definitely more than capable of meter dumping all of that at once for massive damage. Probably doesn't want to do it right now. Mm. Probably just wants to chip out or just seal the deal here. Oh, maybe you spend one meter. All right, sounds good. Right. But now on a fully uh, full health Parasol coming in. All right, 3v1. Uh, Parasol can only do so much, but there's no saying that she can't. Uh, anything is possible. Because Peck's Parasol is pretty good. So this is why this matchup can be really scary as a Peacock. Well, generally you might have the advantage. Once you end up in the corner, it's really scary. There are very few select players who feel comfortable in the corner as a Peacock. Mm. And uh, definitely sees like this situation. Uh, Dango did opt to switch over to Big Band. Oh my god, had to eat that boom. All right. Sticking to the skies, trying to keep. Uh, oh wow! Delaying the descent with the fireball toss really worked out there. Oh, the jumping LP catching Dango off guard. Hits him low, catches him with a hit. Uh, should be able to kill if things go correctly, and it does yeah. very well. Uh, still a two v one situation. Uh, Mr. Peck definitely has a very powerful parasol. While it might be 2v1, I wouldn't be deceived. Mr. Peck might still be able to take complete control of the situation. Oh, drops a combo. Ooh, good reversal there. DHC out, spending all the meter. I mean, Peacock is definitely one of the fastest meter builders in this game. Mm -hmm. can easily get those resources back. Ooh. Level 3, pinning him to the corner. Again, back into the scary situation. Same corner, same time. Oh, nice grab. Catching Dengo off guard. Okay. Right. So now Parasol is generally considered a very neutral heavy character. Mm -hmm. I mean, definitely Parasol doesn't want to give up the pressure here, and this might be able to seal the deal right now. But there are also only 15 seconds left on the clock. If we return to neutral Ooh. just like this, oh. it's getting really scary. Uh -oh. That hit confirm and a clean conversion is able to seal the deal. Wow. <laughs> very, very good job from Dango. He, he, he turned that around really well. Yeah. <laughs> Both these players having a good time. Both feeling a little like, wow, didn't expect that to happen. No. They're having fun with it, though. It's always great. Yeah. All right. I got to respect that presence of mind, though. Just being able to get one hit and completely cleanly convert into a full combo right there. It's the exact opportunity they needed to change things around. All right. Tried to hate guard through that, unfortunately. Let go of it just before Pillar came out. Was not able to eat the Pillar. Alright, let's see. Ooh, okay. Chose to dash forward after jumping hard punch to stay right above their opponent. Ooh, Maintain the neutral game. Catches him with the assist. Punch move comes out. All convert right. into agony. Kills the Lots pain wheel. Converts in, er, switches into level level three. Level three just wants that damage. Interesting. It's a lot of damage. Like, oh yeah, absolutely. All right. Definitely seems that like if Robo is plus and starts applying the pressure before Peacock, Robo does control the pace really, really well, mm. and that really paid off there. Like D that DHC was probably what made that sealing off that Peacock really, really useful, or really, really effective. Oh, of course. Peck seems to be pretty 
in the momentum. Or he has the momentum for this game. Uh, Dango's been having a tough time trying to uh, deal with this aggressive nature uh, with both the Robo Fortune and the uh, Peacock. Mm -hmm. Mr. Peck sealing the deal with a level one. <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> <laughs> they're both they're both having a good old time. Yeah. I mean, how can't they, right? No. Skull goes a common breaker. No matter, everyone wants to win for Every, sure. This is the most intense happy. competition, but it's when we had the whole family together, you know. Uh -huh. All right, two two, Peck versus Dango. Should be the last match. It's all or nothing for this, for winners. Oh wow, sneaky cross up. That's worked twice now. Ooh, catches them up backing. Yeah, he's using the hatred guard to like really eat up those hits while beat extended is covering all options that Peck can throw out there. Okay. Tags into Pika. Oh, Robo got a nice hit. Clean conversion is what I would say. <laughs> oh, no. Very good play coming down from both Dango and Peck. Dango currently in the lead. Drops the combo. Oh, got a counter hit, but didn't believe. Yeah, safe deep seed there. Right. Calls out Big Lenny. Trying to use him just to keep any source of ground. Ooh, dodges the bomb though. Painwheel having to deal with Parasol. Par I feel like the Parasol matchup against Painwheel is definitely in favor. I mean, it's definitely a matchup you don't get to see too often. There's not met too many Painwheel players that you get to really see come out here, but yeah, that. All right, level one into level, right. level sure. one DHCs and is able to kill off of the DHC. Uh oh! Oh wow, that hit confirm can seal the deal right there. Oh, very nice. There we go. Level three. Dango takes it. Three, two. That was really close. That neck and neck. Yeah, it was. I mean, it definitely seemed like Dango was in super control of the pace at the very end there. Uh, like that final match definitely wasn't Dango's favor all the way through. Of course. But like one slip up, and we've seen Mr. Peck's pa uh, parasol come through and do massive amounts of damage. Oh yeah. All the way through. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Peck's parasol has been consistent throughout the whole tournament. Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. It's so great to see both players play out as well as they did. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got Sev versus Wing yeah. up next. We got. So I did mention Sev earlier. Sev is such an interesting case because Sev's changed her team mm -hmm. so often. Right? Of course. Dropped characters, and now she she feels really comfortable on this Bayo band double. Mm -hmm. Her team and is like as fair as it can be in the most ridiculous ways possible. <laughs> Yeah, um, I know many of people who would disagree. <laughs> Bayo Band has definitely given a lot of players stress. Of course, but yeah. Like Wing, Wing is one of the most honest players of all time. Wing. Sticking to Philia all the way through, it's like you know, I like one character. I'm just gonna play solo Philia. I'm solo gonna Philia. have a jolly old time, right? Yeah. It's great seeing Wing progress as he's as he's gone throughout the years, mm -hmm. just to be where he's at now. It's amazing to see. It's great if you try to talk to Wing and try to find out. It's like, hey, Wing, what what goes through your mind? Well, how are you playing so well? And he says, I don't know. I just press buttons. <laughs> he has no idea what I he's doing. I just do it. Yeah, he just does it. Oh, man. He's come one with Ophelia. On to the first match. Wow, a defensive start from Wing. I mean, pretty smart considering he is playing a solo. Does have to play the neutral out. That chair coming through. Converts. Oh, here it comes. All right. Got the corner, but didn't have OTG. So has to play a little bit honestly here. All right, cool. Gets the hit confirmed there. All right, the only thing he can really do now is reset him. Oh, he gives him in the air. Wow, Airwolf coming through. Generally uses an option to escape pressure, but there, caught Philly out of the air. Got the early overhead, too. Trying to keep that undizzy low. Oh. Catches oh, him, nice. catches him, trying to go with the overhead. There goes right. fantastic sometimes. All right, good grab from Wing. All right, that should be enough to seal the deal. We have a meter just in case we need it. Here we go. Here we go. We did have, that was the final string. That was pretty much the only way he was going to get the kill. Mm -hmm. Nice incoming air grab. All right, full end dizzy. Oh, low. Didn't believe in the hit confirm, though. Oh. All right, here, here comes Sev's double here to do work. But does get grabbed by Wing. Wing just having to put them in the mix. There's only so much they can do. Tries to DH their uh, oh, up counter wow. out of it. Wing's in a pretty bad predicament currently, but there's so much he can do. 
doesn't get burst baited. <gasps> wow. Very good um, counter grab. Absolutely. Wings Philly has definitely been very, very grabby this match. Right. Trying to definitely give Seb a message though. You gotta start attacking these. You gotta start jumping. The raw tag probably wasn't intentional. Okay, clean conversion. We have three meter. Now, doesn't Don't want to use it. it. Just want to. You're gonna play it honestly. You want to make sure that your undizzy is all the way maxed out. Wait till it drops down just a little bit. Gets a nice hit. Confirm. Hit it. Confirm into a level three. We're done. Seals the deal. All right. Wing taking the first game. Yeah. And this is a fantastic play that kind of made Wing famous, right? <laughs> like, Wing making it to top two as a solo character. That was... Being able to get top two with a solo character was unheard of. No one would even imagine that was possible. Wing made the dream come true. Alright, let's see. Very good. Alright. Cat heads. Uh, pressure, trying to keep Wing on his toes. Uh, Seb is able to get the hit. Celia slides out of it. Right, a train. And a train tries to reset him. Nice block from Wing though. Wing's health, Wing's health at about half. Uh, at some point, he'll probably try to. Oh, with well, that hit confirmed snap. though. Get the snap. Sixty-six percent of that red health is all back. There it is. Kills the off of Beowulf. The big, big problem that was currently on that team is now gone. SSJ <laughs> coming out and whatever button Wing was trying to press there. All right, just opts to be full screen, close some gap a little bit there. Very good. Optimal movement. Very good dash to counter. Er, stops. Run stops. Oh. All right, picks up off the wall bounce, gets another throw really early on. Oh, man. We Kills. got plenty of undizzy to work with on this incoming, too. Oh, that's a clean hit. We're probably gonna need one more reset before we can kill. Oh, and this is so damn. There it is. Yeah. Oh, has two meters. Doesn't need both of them. Is able to kill. Wing currently up 2-0 yeah. against Sev. The look on his face. Yeah. He is. He is in the zone. He is like, I need. To, I am in Zen. I am yoga. Mm -hmm. Having a good time. I really don't want to take anything away from Sev. I mean, right now it's 2 0. It's not looking good for Sev, but Sev is such a talented player. No, Sev's definitely one of my favorites back in the day. Oh, of course. Sev's been around for so long, and she has gone through so much uh, in SG. Yeah. And it's really making the like the Bayo Band set play something incredible. And mm -hmm. we are seeing it like shine right here. Oh, yes. It's almost like one of her training mode videos. Like, ooh, it hits them low. Oh, man. Back to the A train. Only so much he can do. Snaps him. Snaps him out. Get rid of all that red health. Get an incoming setup on a solo. Not something you get to see every day. Wing Picks up the chair. He's just hacking the conversion. Oh. All right. Seb pulling out the guy heads, trying to keep the pressure on him as Wing is getting out. Does get him with the chair assist. And Seb is able to kill off a wing. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, a, smite, a slight smile on Wing's oh, face. Look at this the smirk. composure's broken. <laughs> <laughs> Both players know just how much it rides on this game. <laughs> they're, having, they're having a good old time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can look, see the look on Seb's face just like, yeah, I know. Bayo Ban. Let's go. It is what it is. All right, back into the mix. All right, picks up the chair. Pops a red burst bait. Interesting. Probably expecting Wing to play a little bit more patiently, but Wing definitely knows the setup there. That burst bait is not going to work. I wonder if Sev is thinking about bringing it back later on. All right. Half of Wing's life bar is gone. It might be smart to start set up a snap here. Oh. Ops not to snap, goes for a reset. Well, the wolf shoot goes for a full combo into a snap. Trying there's to, the snap. Just trying to do as much damage as possible, just so there's no lost damage. All right, we're looking green. We're seeing money oh. in Seb's eyes. We're seeing it. It's coming. Welcome to the epitome of Bayo Band. Okay. It's amazing. Is this it? Could this? Yeah, we have two meter. This is it. This should be it. Oh. 
Doesn't even need it. And the kick. Saving that meter. Gonna go to Seth's Children's College Fund. <laughs> nice green bar. I mean, that's incredible. I never thought in my life I would see Wink perfectly. That's not something you get to see. No. I mean, this is Skullgirls, though, so like a perfect doesn't mean too much, right? Sometimes it just happens. Sometimes it just stays your turn. It just happens. There's not much you can can do. Yes. Oh, very nice. Offensive setups are so strong. Oh, Wink has a much more momentum this time around. Not immediately sent him to the corner this time. Trying to get seven to the corner. This is exactly where Wink wants to be. Pops that burst. Oh. Wink expecting to fastball a little bit faster. Seb's game is just trying to get him to the corner as fast as possible. He doesn't want to have to deal with this aggressive pressure of Philia. Um, but there's only so much that uh, Seb can do. Yeah. Presses onto the chair, picks it back up, immediately tosses it to try and make the setup safe. Gets a nice hit confirmed, oh. clean conversion. Picks the chair back up. Ooh. Oh, nice, up nice DP on the wake up there. Smart call from Wing. Seb was not ready for it. Expecting Wing to play a little bit more patiently. The low high mix up, the classic Wing go to. Oh, he tries to go low again. It was blocked by Seb. Catches the assist, but it doesn't continue. Uh, Seb trying to just deal with this pressure uh, by applying cat heads. Yeah, the flesh step does mean the cat heads crossed up on Philia. But was able to get the hit confirmed there. Another counter hit there. Interesting setup. Oh, very nice. Uh, it's the cl yeah, classic double mid screen vortex. This is so powerful. Honestly, he's actually choosing not to bring Philia to the corner. Not wing down to losers. Dang. That's insane. That's amazing. I mean, this is... Sev is the player who knocked Cloud into losers, right? Yes. So... It, it only makes sense that she would take the top players and bring them down just a little bit. Yeah. Wow, that's humbling. Definitely. No. But Sev I mean, it's it's so crazy. Because we... Sev was so sure that Wing was going to play patiently. Sev went for a red burst bait. Mm -hmm. Did not work out. Uh, popped immediately. It wasn't even a burst bait. It was probably like the second hit was going to be a bait. But the first hit... Just immediately pops snap. out. Then later on, goes for a, another setup, but Wing wakes up up to. Mm -hmm. Did not work out. And despite all of that, was still able to pull through. Yeah. Despite all these um, expectations on Wing, Wing tried to play just in Sev's mind, but it didn't work out. Mm. Just shows how much work Sev has put into her team. How yeah. much she's been labbing, how powerful her setups are. It's really showing. Yeah, Sev's been doing an amazing job throughout the, all these years. Uh, training, trying to be at this moment, wanting to do like what she can. Mm -hmm. Also, wing both playing amazing for both for both sides, really. Oh yeah, absolutely. It was wonderful play from both sides. That was probably one of the best sets we're gonna see tonight. But speaking of some of the best sets we're gonna see tonight, speaking of powerful setups, we got Liam versus Fuzzles. Yeah. So I mean, it's been a minute since we've really seen Liam go all out, but mm -hmm. Liam does put in a lot of work into this game. He does. And Fuzzy Snugs, of course, I remember from East Coast versus the World, was basically a Fuzzy Snugs Kumite. <laughs> that man walloped so many players back to back. It's funny because Fuzzy has the most honest team. It would be double squiggly Eliza. Yeah. If you were to replace like Eliza with anyone else, let, let's say Big Band, his team would be on par with everyone else's, but he has the most honest team out of everyone, mm -hmm. in my opinion. He is also the only Eliza player in Top 24. Is he really? Yeah, and one of the three squigglies. And doubles on like nine different teams, but oh, whatever. Of course. <laughs> no, Fuzzy's been doing amazing. Liam's been doing really well. Earlier, I personally had to play him. Uh, mm -hmm. He's doing amazing. He's been consistent throughout all of his games. All right, so um, have you had the chance to download him? In that case? No. What do you What are you expecting? Uh, what round start did you have to fix? What round start did I have to face? Oh man, I don't even remember. Oh man, that's how clean he was. He's, he so wipes clean. your mind. Aggressive round start with the crouching hard punch makes it safe with the DNB. DNB assist. I love that assist. It makes everything safe. Oh, nice overhead catching Fuzzy off guard. Crosses under the other side. Goes for an honest low. All right, Fuzzy is in quite a bad predicament here. Very low HP with his double is able to. H Palmer does not have the meter to finish. That's so unfortunate. Look at how close that is to killing. Fuzzy has the meter to DHC. DHC is out into Squiggly. Does catch both characters. It is unfortunate that Squiggly does not have the two meters she needed for a mid screen double snap. Couldn't even carry to the corner and do another snap, but she just didn't build that meter fast enough. Doesn't matter though, she's done a lot of work on that parasol. Looking from this hit confirmed, gets the snap. Ooh, there we go. Snaps in the wrong, wrong character. character. I'm pretty sure that 
had to have been a mishap. You definitely needed to snap in that parasol to get rid of all that red health. Yeah, otherwise that's that's some real greedy play to get rid of that Robo right away. I mean, it, that beam assist is really, really powerful. But it, it really wrong. is. But, oh, our tags back in, and man, look on the back end, like, Robo Fortune is almost all back. Like, all the, all the health is going to be back, Double's health is going to be back really soon. Yeah, all, all three of his characters, though, for Liam are about half health, so that isn't too bad. Could be a lot worse. Is able to catch him with the super, though. Yeah, but this does return to neutral. There's no clean conversion off of that you can do, really. You can't keep applying pressure. Mm -hmm. Fuzzy back to no meter, trying to have to get in against this parasol. Parasol applying wonderful pressure. Doing parasol supers. Yeah, parasol really took that turn with that HBM assist though, because like that HBM assist is such, hits at such an interesting height where you can low profile it, but then all you're going to be doing is crouching. Mm -hmm. You can standing block it, but now you're blocking and respecting it. You can't even jump over it. It's just that too tall. It's just it's just there. You have to respect it. Yeah. Okay, tags and Parasol. Really feeling comfortable in this matchup. Right, Parasol versus Squiggly is very, very interesting. Liam himself is a huge proponent in like, how Squiggly has such a huge advantage here. Because if you do more than two hits of a light, then Squiggly automatically gets a guaranteed hit confirmed. Mm. There, like, Fuzzy Snuck's one for it right there. Uh, that smart backdash coming out of Liam, though, meant that he was able to weave away from it. Mm -hmm. Able to get a nice hit confirm and finish off the deal cleanly. Liam taking the first match. Yeah. I do think a lot of that had to do with the, that messed up double snap. Oh. Not double snap, uh, the messed up snap. Yeah, you can right. see the look on Fuzzy's face. He's just like, no, it's yeah. not what I wanted. Now, generally, generally, Fuzzy's a very composed player. Oh, uh, he is. Yeah, so I don't think this will shake him up too much, but hope he, hopefully he's able to just brush it out of his mind and move on to the next round. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a fresh start. Fuzzy currently doing really well, yeah. uh, keeping this pressure up, trying to deal with the parasol and this uh, beam assist. Mismanaged the Undizzy a little bit and had to get a little bit creative with his resets. That did give a Liam an opportunity to get out. Cars, DH season to sync, tries to just reset what he can, doesn't want to deal with the pressure from Liam. Nice tech grab though. I guess that counter hit. <laughs> Fridge conversions. Oh, Crosses over to the other side, Tears trying to make it safe. Tear did make it safe. Good respect on the block. Ooh. Jumped a little bit too early for the chicken block land cancel. Oh, the fridge conversion. I guess this is Liam's go-to conversion. Gets the counter hit on the whiff. Yeah, that spacing is weird. Squiggly is. is such a skinny character. One of the weirdest uh, hurt boxes in the game. Mm. Yeah, Squiggly has a lot of combos that just drop in a random of locations. All right. Tries to do the DP, catches him the next time around. Yeah. Got the burst bait too, but unfortunately oh. because Eliza blocked it, that meant that burst was safe. Did have to play neutral. Liam did come out on top here. Yeah, DHCs into Robo Fortune. Try to get hit confirmed with a jumping medium punch, did not work out. Was able to get in with the medium spacing that we have here. Eliza able to turn around with that air dash jumping hard punch pressure. Classic Eliza pressure is so frustrating to deal with. All right, in comes the bird down to the monster. Ooh, tries to reset him, catches him in the air. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a smart attempt from Double. Double's mid-screen vortex is so much more powerful than the corner one. But pulling him out did mean that Snugs had the opportunity they needed to get out. Mm -hmm. Robo Fortune has a, just a really good setup to prevent uh, Double from doing any sorts of crazy mid-screen vortex. Mm -hmm. All right, DHC's out. Oh, gets grabbed for the effort. Converts with the assist. Ooh, Cut that overhead. instant overhead. That is so tough to do. It's a two-frame window to get that instant double jump, to get that jumping light punch pressure. Out comes the beam. This is the deal. Have no undizzy to work with really on this incoming. That means all damage we get here is a heavily, heavily scaled. 30% extra scaling as of the grand beta of 2017. <laughs> All right, Liam's doing really well, and Fuzzy's down to one character with one bar. Ooh, uh, got the same side mix-up. Could be anyone's game, Liam though. knew it, but it didn't matter. Fuzzy Snugs was able to get the hit. Very nice oh, got that air grab reset, too. This isn't going to kill. Or, well, yeah, we oh. had only 10 seconds to work. No. Yeah, there we go, got car. Fuzzy knew he had to. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If anything, Fuzzy could have... Er, 
potentially had the uh, opportunity to light bomber to get out of that, but it's yeah. such a hard window to pull off. Not to mention, there are only a few seconds left on the clock. You have to make use of every single second he had. Of course. Oh, this could be huge. Oh. We do have the meter. We are close enough to the corner. Get the hey. snap. Get this robo out of the picture. Hey. Messed hey. up the Eliza combo before. Won't happen again. No. Making sure Robo Fortune is staying out of this. Hey. All right. Won't Fuzzy. be accidentally snapping her in this time. All right. Fuzzy doing really well this round. Nice block. PBGC punish. Does not get the punish. The pillar coming through. Gets the counter hit. Ooh. Very nice overhead. Goes for the cross up. Kills Fuzzy's double. Yeah. Currently 2-2. Two, two. Nice two characters each. Spiral Flare is the, uh, Spiral Flare is the <laughs> god button. I think we'll always get you the reset. Oh, PBGC. Napalm Billy. Liam just using <laughs> these napalm or these uh, tears to just keep squiggly away. Yeah, I mean, Liam wanted those push blocks. Liam was building all the space they needed to be able to start safely applying pressure again without being in the threat of SPO. And as well, long as Fuzzy Snux was willing to give it, Liam was willing to keep on doing the tear pressure. Ooh. Fuzzy able to kill off Liam's parasol down to just the double. Doesn't able to, isn't able to do much on the incoming though. Light bomber, no meter to convert, but we have that meter now. If that happens again. Fuzzy Snux has got to be aware of that option. Because, I mean, if there's a character that can make a huge comeback, it's definitely double. Very nice overhead reset uh, on, onto double from Fuzzy. There we go. Here it is. Oh, then the monster conversion. This is exactly what we were just talking about. It's that air grab. Oh. SBO. No. Wrong oh. SBO to, in order to anti-air, but was able to push block Very after good. solid respect and blocks. Fuzzy Snux takes it. Not feeling too proud of it, but... He's clearing his mind, focusing on his next game set play. What's he thinking? He's thinking, how do I deal with deal with Parasol? How to deal with Parasol? Round start. Gonna be both players have be really aggressive. Liam a little bit more defensive, jumping up and blocking. Uh, Fuzzy Snucks going up with an attack did pay off. Went for a mid screen cross under, makes it safe with pil uh, Pillar or Pillar tried to punish. There we go. No, it isn't able to catch the Robo Fortune, but Robo Fortune wasn't able to do much with the assist call. Ooh. Light Bomber, not making it safe. Opt to just kind of res eat, eat the punishment. Is able to sweep around. SBO conversion gets the kill, and we have Squiggly on point with lots of health to work with. Yeah, no meter for Fuzzy, though, but that only one bar or two bars for Liam. Currently down a character. Tries to reset him. Or it counter hits him, I should say. Mm -hmm. And this is definitely one of Squiggly's rougher matchups, and on top of that, not much Does meter to work with. Oh, gets the DP and the SBO to convert. Early cancels the DP, loses a little bit of damage, but that does mean that we are able to keep the corner. Loses track of his buttons, causes a red pop. Ooh. Oh, catches him with the last hit. Good conversion coming down from Fuzzy, picking up off of that hit. Yeah, Spiral going for the maximum damage possible. Sets up Oki. Oh, Respecting. Right, <laughs> just, <laughs> just zooms up and grabs. No respect. Sets up heads. Oh, very nice instant overhead. All right, Fuzzy Snuck, show us why you're the only player running Eliza. Got to be able to escape this pressure. Pressure is going to be the death of him if he doesn't get out. Yeah. I mean, on one hand, like... Robo does like negative two damage. <laughs> On the other hand though, don't have to do much damage to be able to kill here. Hmm. It was only half an Eliza left. Fuzzy down to one character, down to his down to double. Oh, I have to make it use cat heads. Cat heads is a very powerful tool, definitely just forces their opponent to respect it. Mm -hmm. Basically guarantees it's gonna be Fuzzy Snuck's turn. Cat heads does run out, that was last of his meter. He's gotta make this hit confirm count. He cannot let his opponent out of this vortex. Oh, oh wow, solid blocks came out of Liam, but Fuzzy Snuck was trying to get the vortex with a Mid. Yeah, Fuzzy was just trying to do as much as he can, trying to mix up me, well, mix up Liam. Mm -hmm. uh, wasn't I'm danger there. Make sure his opponent stays grounded so we get a cleaner conversion. Fuzzy Snug's not even waiting for this to finish. I mean, who wants to watch an eight-second super? Let's be honest. No, not not too many people. <laughs> <laughs> Liam taking the game, three-one. Fuzzy. Knockdown to 
losers, Use. right? I want to yeah. say. Yeah, Liam I was definitely still on Wonder side, so Fuzzy Snuck's being knocked into losers. Next up, we got Dash versus Rival Flaggers, also both on Wonder side. That's got to be incredible. We got TJ and Ravel. Both of these players are awesome. Yeah, we're going to have Liam fighting the winner of this set coming up soon. Now, Rabble is definitely the person who made Bayo Band. Definitely. Like, this is this is the guy who made this team popular. You don't get to see him play this team too often. He's mm -hmm. usually sandbagging because he has the right to do so. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. Dash is no joke. Dash is our returning champion mm -hmm. of Combo Breaker. Yeah. Huge upset. First time uh, Sonic Fox was not able to take Grand Finals. Yeah, and that was one of the closest matches in the history of Combo Breaker, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It was a really good match. TJ has been playing very well. Yeah, uh, he's been playing for a long time. Too. He has. You'll you'll see him in quick match like every single day. He'll, he'll he's the kind of person that no matter who it is or like where you're at, send him an, send him an invite and be like, hey, you want to play? He'll always be down. Yeah, he's always just ready to play. He loves his game. You can really see it. Like in the way he plays and his eagerness to fight people, he just really, really has love for this game. Bravo Flaggers, just known for making the Bayo Band team. <laughs> Definitely also loves his game, but uh, different type of commitment. Different kind of commitment. Different kind of commitment. Some may say 159 man, but it, it was it was all rabble. <laughs> <laughs> Crowd out there. Yeah, crowd's getting rowdy. They're being rowdy. They're having a good old time down here. Combo breaker. Yeah. I mean, this is what everyone saves with their energy for, right? Yeah, like of course. Everyone's everyone's waiting for this. Yeah. You wait to combo breaker, then you release the spirit bomb. They've been building up. All right. So paint will point. Peacock on point for TJ round start. Yeah. So this is traditionally known as Rebels uh, sandbag team. Kind of a cool thing to call it that because Rebels put in a lot of work with this team. Mm. Uh, this team is super cool and has very, very interesting conversions. Nice hit with the A train assist that does scale to 50, of course, because it was a hit confirmed from an assist. All right, TJ able to kill off Painwheel without much of a problem. DHC's back or uh, Raw tags them back to Pe Peacock. Yeah, that feels a little bit more comfortable in this matchup. Uh, pop, totally okay, is what I would say, but that alpha counter in to A train conversion means that Peacock does not get to just go full screen or start applying pressure. So TJ's got to be a lot more careful about those burst bait setups because I know a lot of Peacock players like to set up a burst quote unquote bait mm -hmm. and then let them pop it just so they can be full screen and start setting up zoning again. Yeah. You can't really do that here. Not oh, with this team. Not with this team. The A train keeping them at bay. Boom. Pop. Amazing damage on that Bayo. Gets a conversion with Boxcar George. All right. All right, lock and load. Puts him into the corner. Tries to stay comfortable. Alpha counters in. Big, big man. Tries to, tries to keep Bayo Wolf alive uh, with, with, whatever, with whatever health he has. Oh, tries to go <sighs> for That was a very nice block. Yeah, and he actually had advantage from that DP trade. Hey, train to that. Gigantic arm. We still have OTG. Gets the conversion. This should be able to kill here. And we build all three hype. Using cool. it. Interesting. Using up a, a bit of the hype. Yeah, Rabble's able to kill off TJ's Peacock. Uh, incoming Cerebella is the last character he has. Conversion. Does not build hype. Just tries to space things out. Knows he doesn't have OTG, really. Right. Build one bar of hype. Oh, very good grab. Yeah, solid. Merry Go Rilla reaches so far. Now, what's the incoming? Oh, it just jumps. Oh, okay. Up to jab in that 50 50. Oh. Both players just trying to play a very good neutral, but, P but TJ, or Swiftbox Dash, able to pick it up off of that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, that was incredible pressure. We saw the classic PBGC get hit. <laughs> All right, level three to seal the deal. Swiftbox Dash able to level three kill off Rabble's last remaining character. I mean, such a strong start. Swiftbox Dash is definitely poised. It's like, yo, you saw me win last time. I'm going to win again. This time it's going to be even better. It's going to be even better. Rabble opting to stick to this team. Rabble feeling confident. Doesn't doesn't want to really switch away. He's thinking, it's like, no, I put in enough work. This is the team I want to play. Wow. 
Wow, interesting cross under. Ops not to convert and actually go for another really early reset without building on Dizzy. I don't know how I feel about that. Jumping hard punch, such a powerful approach option. There we go. Eats a little bit of damage and gets a clean conversion. Now we have him in the corner. Oh, and does the sets up a red? Yeah, sets up the red. Bursts out of it though. Tries to reset the neutral. Uh, TJ able to hit him with the Cerebella. Copter. That works. All right, that works. Oh, that was scary. Almost got hit by the explosion of Lenny. Punch move, set up the full screen. Scooped up with A-Train, though. Back into the corner you go. And jumping, it was a mistake. Good old <laughs> Rock Tech gets punished by the chair toss. Airwolves to get, make it safe. Get him out of that corner. Ooh, counter hit low. Counter hit low. All right. Rabble being able to do as much damage as possible. Oh, tries oh. to go for the reset. Rabble yeah. able to jump out of it. Very nice. It's interesting. So Fuck Dash was just kind of sitting idle, hoping to like respect it, bait a mash out. Oh. Here we come with the chair once again. Okay, just does a Kara DHC, spends a bunch of the meter, just get Peacock out. Felt comfortable in this range. Uh, most people don't really like being in this. Wow, okay, wow. interesting interaction there. That was a crazy pinion super. Yeah, crowd's going wild. Nobody knew what was going to happen there. <laughs> Makes him block the bang, 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 giving Ping will zero opportunity to try and get in. Now Lenny's there, just forcing them to be patient, forcing oh, very, them to wait. Very nice DH, or er, uh, raw tag out. There. But catches both. It's unfortunate. Oh. Raw tagging immediately calling that assist was super risky. Yo, Big Band is now bleeding. He's at half health. Pain will at very low HP. Yeah. Only so much that Rabble can do. I would say that Pain will needs to buy time so Big Band can get back to oh full strength. But he calls him in. Oh, we got it. He confirmed this is good. All right. So I know Pain will needed to buy time, but at the same time, there were only 25 seconds left on the clock. Rabble needed to do something, and it was not get hit there. Mm. TJ taking two games in a row. Rabble looking a little bit nervous. Yeah, he looks a little, little flustered right now. Everyone in the crowd, they're all having a good time. It's like I had no idea how that interaction would go with if I went into level three versus a beam super. Yeah. What was gonna happen? All right, on to the next game. All right, Rabble applying a lot of pressure, able to catch uh, TJ or Swiftbox Dash out of it. Uh, er, Swiftbox. <laughs> Rob wow. tagging out of it. Lots of early overheads there. Man, Rabble really wants to keep this undizzy low. Generally a strategy you see against solos, but I guess in this ratio he feels comfortable doing that. Deny his opponent as much meter as possible, but I mean his opponent is definitely playing Peacock Bella, which is quite the meter battery. Hmm. Oh, Rabble is doing a really good job doing as much damage as he can wow. to Sarah Bella. Counter hit. Kills Counter the hit. Bella. All right. We got all three bars of hype. What's the incoming? Wow, all of that was safe. Uh, into the A train, back at it once again. Counter on both sides, but wasn't able to do much off of it. In comes Lenny. Big Band is trying to do his, or er, Rabble is trying to do as much damage as possible before Lenny explodes to reset everything. Yeah, I mean SSJ armored through the explosion, ate a lot of bit, of, a lot of damage for that, but no meter for Rabble to be able to do any SSJ to get out of it or to kill. Read on that air grab, definitely seals the deal. All right, Rabble's staying in it. That's what we want to see. Keeping it close. Rabble saying it's like it was not a fluke that I made it out on winner's side. He's like, I deserve this. Absolutely. No, Rabble's playing very well. It's TJ as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. One. Extra George trying to space out the pain wheel, but unfortunately, pain wheel was able to weave over it. TJ just trying to keep this pain wheel out and in, in the zone that he wants to be in. Ooh, very good call on the raw tag out. TJ saw it coming. Oh, Airshow George covering the airwolf options. You are not approaching safely for no reason. Oh. Swiftbox trying to jump out of it. Unable to, though. Gets uh, the low after the tech chase. Symbol, Embrass, just decides to dash up to not use OTG. Probably oh. should have used... Was hoping he was closer to the corner, so Embrass, uh, he would be able to convert off of the... I didn't confirm. No reset after the run. Nice battle, was. Oh, wow. wow. Using E-Break to armor through George. That was very well done on Ravel, seeing it That's coming. such no good awareness. 
hits him high. There we go. Ooh. Is the OTG use wow. interesting air juggle there to be able to get that air grab reset? We are at full on dizzy though. That means that reset is not going to do oh. as much work as we would like. Ooh. Wow! Wow! Barely not able to use the armor of tumble run to get through that SSJ. <laughs> yeah, making oh, count I seconds, making it slow of a uh, right, command grab as possible. We got the classic. Just go ahead and send him across the screen. Nice conversion. All right. Swiftbox able to kill off Ravel's Beowulf. And this does wonders for uh, Swiftbox Dash. Even though Swiftbox Dash isn't just a single character, A, Beowulf is definitely uh, one of Ravel's strongest assets, but also essential to the big band uh, Beowulf set play. Of course. Without the set play, it definitely changes how the game will be played from now on. Overall, uh, er, Swiftbox is having to just play a very passive and yeah, a very passive game to try to keep Rabble away from everything. Wow, that was a nice call to use that brass there. He saw that airshow George call being like, okay, another George is obviously going to come out. Mm -hmm. I have this window. Get in with that brass. Finish it off with an SSJ. Probably Cal enough damage. It was. It was. Calculated. Good stuff. Good stuff on Rabble. Currently 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Last game for these two opponents. Both are playing phenomenally. TJ currently up right now, applying as much damage as he can to Rabble. Rabble seems to be quite in a predicament, going to be losing the pain wheel down one character. T or Swiftbox just applying this pressure. Rabble seems to be a little flustered, unable to deal with this pressure. Blitzer to approach just goes all three Blitzers straight through. Yeah. Trying to be aggressive, he needs to get in there, trying to deal with Peacock. I mean, Dash was definitely expecting a bit more complex movement there, but was not expecting the all-on assault. Immediately got hit confirmed, was not ready to uh, respond to that. And this pressure's been ongoing since. It's a snap, wants to set up the incoming. Ooh. Oh, cross, cross under up. chair toss. Yeah, Rabble wants to make sure Dash is uh, Peacock's dying. Yeah, got that Peacock out of there. I mean, this changes up this matchup so much. I mean, Bella's definitely no joke, but play, dealing with the solo Bella is significantly different than dealing with the Peacock Bella. Oh, of course. All right. Swiftbox Dash is having to just play a very fair and honest game against a very totally fair team comp of the <laughs> Bayo Band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tries to go for a reset. Ooh, catches him jumping. Oh, up wow. of Wake up though. SSJ. We're using Wi Fi strats. Let's go. Oh, A train blocks it though. No, out comes the chair. Oh, very nice. Nice tumble off to armor through. Giant Step is a projectile that can be armored. Ooh. Oh, incoming. Goes for the low. <gasps> Random. Kara cancels into a level three. It's safe. Doesn't matter. Oh, but go. jumps and gets caught by the airwolf. Smart. Reaction round flags picks it up with the wolf shoot and seals the deal. Very amazing amazing. Run back. That was awesome. It We're was. I mean, TJ has been playing so well. We were so sure he was going to close it out cleanly, but Ramble being like, nah, no, nope. got it. Let's pop off. I'm popping off. I got this. Y'all ain't nothing. All right, so we will be taking a short break. Uh, we will be back momentarily. Mm -hmm. Everyone sit back, enjoy. There's much more Skullgirls to come. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. TBD has raw attack down. We got the ever so talented Duckator here. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Fantastic. <laughs> I mean, the Skullgirls have never stops. Yep. Here at Combo Breaker, we got such a concentrated pool of talent. And speaking of talent, we got Psychopath up against Mike Z. Now this, this is wild. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, this is the run back from the last top eight that Psychopath made it to. Mike Z knocked oh, him out. Oh, going right into it. Oh, wow, just jumping right jumping in. Let's go. Jumping right in. Round start, Peacock backs Ooh. off, tries to set up a zoning thing. Mike Z chases. Okay. Right. So Mike Z is going to have a real hard time getting in here. All right. Even though he does have that big Venice backing him up, Psychopath, solo Peacock, just too strong. Yeah, but right now, Mike Z doesn't really want to rely on that big Venice. He's trying Ooh. to play patiently, make sure that big band stays on full health. Calls it out there, try and catch the teleport, did not work out. Man, Psychopath is not afraid of just using that uh, M-Bang, getting out of there. Mike Z is not baiting that. 
All right, so round one, or first character definitely goes to... <laughs> yeah, not the, round one not yet. Not round one yet. About to be. Look at that damage. Yeah. Right, Mike's oh, wow, what a throw. What Another a throw. Another one. Mike Z. Inching you forward. You can tell he plays grapplers. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do what you love. Oh, man, he's bringing it back. He's gonna make it. Oh, oh what, what, a what a drop, what a drop. Oh, the bomb is on George. screen. Got the bomb out. is on screen. What's I mean, gonna happen? If you want to get that 1.3 ratio, chip oh, damage. He oh, tried. no, he tried. He tried to get through. He between. made this game. He should know it doesn't work. <laughs> Man, Mike Z did not call that bandit all that time. I totally forgot he existed. Already calling the round so early. Yeah, he's saving it for this round. All right, there we go. Going to get in his head, you know. <laughs> Start approaching safely. Oh, There's there the beat assist. I'm really Goes surprised he's not using uh, the armor assist. Yeah, I mean, smart use of teleport though, using the items to get around Concho, one of Mike's wow, favorite moves. Wow, you bet the throw! That's still invincible. So it's up Lenny. Ooh, Gets wake grabbed. up throw. Mike Z, long time guilty player, wake <laughs> up throw. Yeah. Mike Z, you made this game. Throws are not <laughs> zero frames. They feel like that though. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. Right, pops the burst. Yeah. This is exactly where Peacock wants to be. See, full if screen. I'm a psychopath right now, I throw the bomb on screen right now. Just try to hit Servo. Well, definitely got the hit. Lost half of Ban's life there. Red health milked away. What a throw. Mike Z, king of throws here. Oh, one for another. Grab okay. reset. I think Psychopath is catching on now. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. Easy right. second game for Psychopath. When the grapples don't work, what do we do? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what Mike does either. All right, Mike Z. So Mike Z is definitely known as a, he likes to sandbag a little bit until the mm -hmm. final match. When his life's on the line, this is it. This is his tournament no, career at Comfort 2019. This power is up, you know. Yeah. He needs that pressure. <laughs> oh, starting Big Ben this time. All right, all right. Getting thrown. All right, what's, okay. what's he going to do with that cerebellus? How's he going to oh. change it up? <laughs> Hop back, call another George. Okay, okay. You got the sliding back. Ooh, what Ooh. a cross up. What a cross up. Excellent cross up there. Symbols. All right, cycle pass in the mix. Try to go and he's out. He's out. Lock and load, making that. Yeah, he's really safe. going in with Peacock. He's really trying to rush down with this character. Don't let the dream be a meme. Gets a hit confirmed there. Here All right, we go. Cycle pass. I would snap right now. He needs that health. He yeah, needs that health, and he smart, got smart, that smart, health. Smart. Blocks the incoming. Oh, we can't block it all. Alright, gets the counter hit, unable to convert into punch move. Man. Yeah, I don't think Psychopath expected I, that move to hit. That's why he went to punch move for the iframes, but it did not work out. I think Mike can close it out here. Yeah. That level That's three. it. <laughs> Max on all the uh, He's speakers. on the board. Mike Z, he found an answer. Alright, okay. This is Mike Z, not pulling any stops anymore. Mm -hmm. Once again, tournament life on the line here. Psychopath just needs one more win. Very quick first two games. You know, he said all the time he made this game just so he could play it in tournament. Let's see uh, how he does here. Yeah. Oh, immediately getting stuck by the airship, George. Boxcar. Oh, oh really, really bad punch from Mike. Lots of recovery on with there. Okay. So, wait. Souls are powerful, but they can't kill without a reset. Here, mm -hmm. There's the reset. Gets the hit confirmed. Does not convert. Man, All right, Mike is just not blocking this. Yeah. Mike, he just really wants to press buttons. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared for both of them right Punch now. move comes out. Now, Psychopath is one of the very few Peacocks who feels really, really comfortable in the corner. <gasps> what a job! No punish from Mike! That's huge. That's huge. That could be the whole round here. Yeah. Psychopath with barely a, a scratch on him. Alright, Spell's got to touch. Got to make the count. Oh, the Mike Z classic. Concho. Here comes the Concho. Not able to use teleport this time. Good blocks, oh, Mike Z classic, do it again. I want to see it one more time. It's gonna work. Oh, no. he should have done it again. It wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't work. Oh, oh makes it beat the Mike. level three. Level three, and he converts. Oh, this is it. Oh no, <sighs> used the same button twice. I mean, you should know about this. Oh, oh that's, that's gonna seal the deal, psychopath. Getting revenge so from close. Frosty. Well done. Uh. I mean, that's crazy. That was, that was real close, yeah. I believe it was like Mike Z's own words, where it's like, <laughs> oh, come on, guys, the IPS system is not that complicated. Yeah. 
Maybe it was intentional. Maybe he had some a crazy setup we didn't see. Yeah, it's unfortunate we didn't get to see that all play out. But I mean, talk about taking a very convincing all right, you got win right there. and Sage coming up next. Yeah, absolutely. Here we see them coming up on stage. PME, generally considered the PSN hero. Yeah, I've played him a whole bunch on PSN. All the time, every single time I uh, try to get online, PME was there, you know? Yeah, he's always at the grind. Sage, definitely a classic player. Classic Sage. Yeah. Classic pad. <laughs> classic hair, you know? Do you know if he does the the, the PS4 like the section thing where you like you take the D-pad and you like cut the thick corners? I think he does do that. Yeah, yeah. he's telling me about that sometime. Here comes Sage. All right, wants to play wireless. Let's go. Yeah. So apparently, if you play wired, uh, sometimes the controller just randomly disconnects. That's oh. why. That's why you gotta play it wirelessly. Uh, all right. Yeah. Both plaid players, by the way. Just gotta remember to desync afterwards. Or else gonna cause some problems. Yeah, tournament veterans here. And we actually recently, I believe, found out that um, the more Bluetooth devices that are registered, the mm -hmm. more input lag there is. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a common thing. Yeah. Shout out to Dancing Skeletons, by the way. Hmm? Shout out to the Dancing Skeletons, Sh by the, the Dancing way. Skeletons? <laughs> Respectable. I say he's gotta be nervous. He looks completely calm, but I know he's nervous right now. Well, this guy's got the poker face of like a veteran. Like he, you can never you, tell. If you he's can shaking never his tell. Boots. Gotta go to Twitter, find out. It's like, are you shaking your boots? <laughs> are you not feeling it today? You'll never know by looking at his face. No, I can tell. I can tell can by tell. interacting with him. You know. Yeah. All right. We got inside details. in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Through his glasses, you know. It's an interesting matchup. Yeah, I don't see Sage fight too many fortunes in general. I don't know. There are that many fortunes, are there? Mm. All right, round start. Button out, coming out, expecting Sage oh, to dash up. Oh, immediate air throw. Oh, that's set of safe. Ooh, PME with the awareness to just DP there. Yeah, got Ooh. another reset overhead and then converts. DHC's early with that. Parasol's dead already. Yeah. Barely any undizzy. Wow. That's a practice set play right there. Oh, maybe he's not dead. He's living. Just barely. Hops out. Alpha Ooh. counters in. Unfortunately, Lewis just dropped out. Yeah, I mean, had to use two meter for that conversion. Was able to get a little bit of that pain below. All right, here we go, Sage. Let's show off that Bella damage. Duo does do that 1.3 extra bonus. Is he done? Wow, Pain Wheel is dead already. That was like two hits, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Goes to the burst bait, expecting PME to not be patient. No, PME, PME is good about that usually. Yeah, absolutely. PME only pops when he knows. Ooh, the awareness to block the tier as it explodes. So smart. Wow. Those were endangered. That's definitely not safe. Yeah. Expecting a grab. I mean, who would expect a grab from a grapple character? I wouldn't expect a grab from Sage. He usually just decides to go for high lows. Mm -hmm. Alright, Sage is about to do level 3. About to do something in the level 3. <laughs> just goes low. Expecting Kimmy to wake up and respect it. Oh. Just bash level 3. What's going on here? Gets a medium counter hit. It was worth a try. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta test them, you know, see if they actually <laughs> fall for that. Yeah, I mean, if there's a time to do that, it's definitely like the first round of yeah. the set, right? First round is all information, you know? Yeah, it's all download. See, he's thinking right now, he's trying to process what he, yeah. what he just saw. So if Sage was scared, he's definitely not feeling as scared right now. He's like, okay, I got a good feel of what's going on. Uh, tested out my opponent a little bit. Uh, gave him a few hits here and there, but now I know what to expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, smartest thing to do after you win a match is just go with what you did last match, you know? Mm -hmm. Don't even think about it. Just keep going. Oh, immediately gets hit with that low. Alright, got that same overhead again. Carries to the corner. This you don't have a second meter exactly to DHC. exactly the same way. <laughs> well, not the exact same way. Right, right, right. Close enough. Oh, the head is in play. Sage seems to know how to deal with the head pretty well. 
on Sir Capitus just wow, got it. I don't fall for it. Yeah. Wow. The head can uh, mess you up there when you try to punish, but it is too far away there. I see. Yeah, this is a really hard matchup for Parasol because Fortune can just kind of yeah. do that under the tier. Her <laughs> run just completely ro low profiles them. Gotta counter oh, hit. Now no, hit both characters. Both. Ooh, this is huge. Oh, He's not unfortunately, whistle to Bella. It sucks, but we still get all that red health off of Bella. I mean, Tabby yeah. Bella comes in, gets Sir a nice still dead anyway, it's fine. Yeah. It's a Walmart brand double snap. <laughs> oh, that's, that's it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, DC to uh, right, early DC. Wheel. That means we're wow. gonna have to get a hit confirmed. Wow. That's unfortunate. Really needed that last <laughs> hit of fortune. Back. Got that overhead. Ooh, he can come back. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and but hatred guard parry. <laughs> These are light hatred guard too. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's how I set the fastest out of all of them, I think. Yeah, but it's also only one hit of armor, so Sage is a single double hit move. Like. Oh, against Parasol, she doesn't really have that many multi-hit moves. Yeah, so. I guess that's true. I mean, like, not, you're not really going to find Parasol doing standing light kick against. Uh, oh, no, again. <laughs> Alright, double snap. It starts this way again. This time he actually double snaps, though. Nice. Okay, alright, gets it. Second. All down with Parasol now. Alright. Uh, Sage doesn't like to use too many grabs anyway, so let's just go for the lows and throws. Oh, Here, really throw. nice throw. Catch him out of that. Right, he's gonna go for some mix up. Ooh, nice. Take him out of the corner, though. That might not be such a smart move. Alright, with some land cancel, go for a low. Finish okay. off with a level 3. Burns all that meter. Fortune is definitely the problem on PMEC, so I'm really glad he got him out there. Yeah, by all means necessary. Okay, Sage so has gotta keep this momentum and be aware of the armor. Because PME is gonna abuse that. Good way to do this, uh, first spades, but Alpha Counter's in Robo. Uh, this is an interesting Ooh. matchup, especially when Parasol's so close to that Robo Fortune already. But yeah. Robo gets the hit. I'm really surprised he didn't punish that laser. It's really minus some block. Burns off the dust, DHC's oh, in. This might be it. Let's go. Actually, no, I think I think Parasol's in. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little bit too far from the corner. Oh, it was nerve wracking. Yeah. H wouldn't keep him locked down. Parasol can't really shoot. I'm paying real too much because that assist and also the iron. Yeah. It's kind of dangerous. It's kind of smart from PME. He was like waiting out that parasol to shoot a forward tier just so he can call him Robo. Mm -hmm. Sage tried to do it anticipating yeah, just like the that. Robo. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Alright. I'll go for the gunshot right now if I was. Yeah. There we go. Just try to get a little bit of chip. Kill this character. Any other chance against Robo? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that could have oh, been huge, but unfortunately, oh. PME takes that coming out on top PME there. Just like a pixel of health left, too. Uh huh. I, I think Sage was really hoping that would have killed right there, but... Sage should have taken a second and, and, you know, calm down. Mm -hmm. Think about what he's doing, but he's just going straight into it. Hey, you just want to run... I guess it works. He got to have yeah. a birthday. <laughs> sure. Don't give him a chance to think. PME is up 2-1, so, I mean, getting the double snap would have been huge. Great Snaps snap. in the smart choice there. Yeah, Robo Assist is really a problem. Yeah, and also, I mean, get rid of all that red health. That definitely helps. That too. They see the pain wheel. Oh, nice drop. Alright, try to go for a hatred guard mix up. Nice block on that 30 frame low. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know, sometimes it catches people. Yeah, 100% unreactable. <laughs> try to mix it up with the overhead there. Parasol is on the other side. Oh, nice bait, nice bait. Yeah, gets a nice counter hit punish there. This should be enough to kill. Oh, he doesn't drop. Please don't drop. Wow. Okay. So no actually, first. Yeah, didn't want to use the meter. I'm, how did Pillar whiff? Oh, oh got no. him in the overhead. The 30 hit, 30 frame overhead. That's even Let's slower go. than the low. <laughs> <laughs> Conditioning work. And that was the second low, or the well, second overhead we saw, but definitely two lows before that. Mm -hmm. Oh, good awareness of the head. Not to shoot the tears right there. Oh, gets caught with the... Okay, Fortune should be dead. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Don't even it. risk it. Just do the level 3. Smart. Anyone who fights PME knows Overhead? that Fortune yeah. is the problem. Gets the hit on Robo Fortune. That's huge. Seals the deal. Now we're on game 5 of this set. Ooh. This is Losers Top 24. This does mean that one of these players will not get a second chance. Another. That's this is it. Definitely true. So both big name players. Sage looks confident now. I see it in his eyes. <laughs> the aura of fear is gone. 
PME is taking a second to think. I think it's a bad sign, though. He should have just gone straight into it. Yeah. I mean, last time he rushed right into a match, he did get double snipe right away. So Sage is the one that rushed into it after he lost. And then well, he they both had to hit play again. Right? Oh, yeah. So PME, this time, wants to take time to think. Wants to maybe change things up. No, Switching to agree. a duel, I do not agree with He this. was doing just fine with his team. He just needed to adjust his uh, game plan a little bit. Pain Wheel was doing a lot. For him. Yeah. That doubt, that could seal the deal. Exactly, that's a lot. Yeah. He shouldn't have gone back to a character select there. Yeah. Should have stuck with what he knew. Yeah, you definitely have a good point there. Yeah, see? Now he's not going to get a second chance when uh, Fortune dies here. Nice oh, first bait. first bait means to get the counter hit damage. Oh, oh what for another one. This <laughs> I'm time. just really surprised he burst at all. Yeah. Yeah, now it's all down to Robo. Yeah, that, this, this, is, this is not a good situation. A no one wants to be stuck with Solo Robo. Yeah, solo oh, he can do it though. Mix up. Level 3. It's going to be a lot of damage. It might not be yeah. enough. Like, Sarah is only down to like 75%. Yeah, but we also don't have any meter to like snap in Bella. So Bella's mm -hmm. going to be getting a lot of that back. Well, he just needs like one combo and he'll get the meter back. True. I mean, this is Robo we're talking about. Projectiles for days. Sage is not going to call Sarah Bella. He's going to let all that health come back. <laughs> hopefully. Unless he All does right. that, you know. Yeah, okay, Keep cool. the pillar safe. Smart bait. Bridge into level Ooh. three, carried to the corner. Good conversion. Went for the overhead reset. Good block on that. Sage has been going for that a lot this game. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's he doesn't drop this. Got the two nice. meter. Seals the deal with the DHC. Great job. Excellently done. That's a good man. Yeah. That was a great showing from PME. I definitely don't think Gamey should have rushed into the last game, but he definitely didn't need to go back to characters like he should have mm -hmm. he was doing fine. You were absolutely correct. Like he shouldn't have doubted himself at all. He really needed that pain wheel too. I think that was a huge part of it. Yeah, the pain wheel was oh. definitely helping a lot. We got fuzzy underscore snugs right now. <laughs> we're in the sad boys. We're winning a t shirt. The fuzzy underscore snugs? Fuzzy underscore snugs over here. Yeah. Dropping middle names now. <laughs> oh, but he's up against Sonic. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a tough match. I think he can do it. Yeah. I mean, so, I know some people have been doubting Sonic, saying Sonic's been focusing too hard on MK11, but I don't, I wouldn't say that for a second. That's always been the case, though. He's always been focusing on multiple games at once. Yeah, and uh, let's be honest, like, Skullgirls has always been Sonic Fox's game, right? Exactly. Like, this is where he grew up. This is, like, what really brought him to the spotlight. So, I don't doubt for a second that he is going to put on a fantastic showing here. Mm -hmm. Fuzzy Snug's one of the few squigglies in top 24. There Is were three there more than one? There Is were three squigglies oh. in top 24. Uh, only one Eliza. Only one uh, Valentine. Cool. I'm not surprised about that. Yeah, so Cloud's <laughs> only is the only Valentine. Fuzzy Snugs is the only Eliza. Uh, nine doubles, but who's surprised there? Yeah. I'm honestly surprised it's not 24 doubles. That's always in the case. Yeah. It's a I can't think of a single instance where you don't have a bunch of doubles in the top 24, <laughs> top 8, or whatever. A really well-rounded character. It's <laughs> always useful. Very few unfavorable matchups. Like, mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you? And if, if there's ever a case where you're stuck with only double, we've seen so many comebacks. Like yeah, solo he, double versus he has trio. the tools for everything. You can always rely on that. You know? Just like that, was able to get a hit confirmed, but not able to really convert. Here comes uh, a Sonic Spilio. Like, if uh, anyone knows Philly and mix-ups better than anyone else, it's Sonic, you know. Oh, absolutely. Just look at this. Double's already dead. Yeah. Good to see. Like, I didn't even see what hit him there. Yeah. And Sonic has this all calculated in his head. Like, knows exactly when he's going to build a meter he needs to get that hit confirmed to get the kill. Oof. That's actually a really smart reset, because it's really can be kind of tricky to reset his double. Yeah. It's so thin. A lot of stuff doesn't work on him. So it's going for the air throw is my... Oh, got the counter here. I wonder what Fuzzy Snucks is pressing. Oh, that drill is going to hit. Wait, no, it's not. All right, he uses the, the skeleton to cover is the on screen, but he has to get back. He has to get back. He's running on meter. Oh, nice punish. Uh, DMV trying to cover the, uh, like, coming back into the lines up, but did not work out. He has a good try. But Sonic, Sonic knows better there. Oh, let's go Fuzzy. DMV to see DP. Gets the conversion off the wall bounce. Mm -hmm. No first. Yeah. Not falling for it. Ooh! Alright. Right, Eliza's is. in play. Doubles out. Yep. What Fuzzy really needs to kill is uh, that Philia, though. Alright. If anyone's gonna come back, it's Philia. One for the standard 50 50. Touch the ground. Alright, Fuku is out of there. 
Oh, here okay, comes no up to bird insurance. I'm doing 2019. Still works. <laughs> No comfort, not the wall bounce, and have OTG. Oh, that shit. Yeah, just chips him out, that's all he needed. So we got incoming souls quickly, this is rough. Especially against Sevilla in the corner. Yeah, you can't push black, I cancel that setup. Fuku Joe just covers everything there. Level 3 though, does oh, catch both characters. Oh, uh, unfortunately, the other character drops yeah, out. And they had the exact same hitbox, and one of them fell out. Crazy. Yeah. Nice block. Smart blocks. Nice Gets punish. counter hit. Oh, we don't have charge, awareness. we don't have meters, so we can't do any optimal stuff. Gotta go that for a reset. A reset. Wow. Let's go. Respect it! Oh, Got it's both so of them. Oh, it's amazing. Oh. Unfortunately, what a drop. <laughs> it dropped on Fuku. How did that happen? Oh. Man, twice. Same hitbox as oh. Man, I hate to see that. Yeah. Poor Fuzzy. No. The time just laughing, like, yeah, I planned that. I knew that would happen. <laughs> yeah, stereo vision combos are no longer a thing, I guess. Puzzle feels you know what happened there. <laughs> nice is Dragon Bite, keeping it all safe. This is double on point. Yeah, it's the classic Puzzle, so just a uh, gunshot into Dragon Bite, get the pressure going. Oh, double jumps over. Philly like tries to stay above. Hmm. Nice real conversion there, get double out. Didn't really need to do this, but felt comfortable with his conversion. And oh, did, no. unfortunately. Oh, that's, that's so really huge. Yeah, did not mean to use Silver Court in that situation. Wanted to dive kick. Got the counter <laughs> on the really barrel. This the is barrel why. Cross up. That's crazy. Yeah, this is why the air grab in the last round was so smart. Mm -hmm. Any other character would work, but. Uh, oh, totally. Yeah. That's good. Tiny Gale. Alright, use an NG or SBO. Don't know what side it's hitting on. Who cares? <laughs> Oh, here comes that jump high kick. Okay. All right, Joe. Yeah, he, he knows his Fuku combos for sure. He's going to kill. Yeah. Oh, double drill super routes. Puzzy still has two characters, though. He's, he's good. Two right. characters full in Disney. No cheeky burst space this time. I think he's going to throw out the skeleton. Yeah, there it is. Cover it with the... Ooh, the command gram. Hit him, punishing the double assist. Guess the air wow, reset. that is the lowest air throw I've ever seen. Now we have two meter. Game. We should be able to kill it here. <laughs> that 1.3 scaling, 3v3. We really should. He it's goes for an a reset anyway. Fuzzy Snugs is the bravest man alive going for that reset. Wow. Alright, 1-1. One, one. I believe in Fuzzy underscore Snugs. Yeah. I think he can do this. Uh, if anyone who's played Skullgirls knows that, like... It's really easy to get under people's skin in this game, mm -hmm. right? Going for that unnecessary reset. Yeah, that's it's how gonna, you do Sonic's it. gonna feel that. <laughs> Sonic's played this game a lot, and I, I know Sonic's a veteran, but that's not something you do against Sonic Fox. Keep in mind, it's losers. This is so if Fuzzy beats Sonic, Sonic is going home. He's out of the tournament. That's crazy. It's so. I can't even He won't even that. get top eight. <laughs> oh, he's doing it, though. Oh my god. Fuzzy might actually do it. Billy is out. The problem is gone. <laughs> At least this Philly one. Out. All right, we got one problem out, two more to go. That's a lot better than usual. <laughs> wow, that endless pressure, relentless, gets that grounded grab as soon as that land cancels the uh, recovery. All right. Sonic's not going to want to block here. He's going to want to do everything he can to not block. There he goes. Quick block guy cancel, stand jab. Oh, oh Squiggly! just got stuck with Squiggly. Squiggly Bella sneaking double out. is almost as good as uh, Squiggly <laughs> Big Band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Fuzzy is actually doing it. Wow. He still has three characters and just Fuqua. Gets Ooh, a what monster a ambiguous cross up. Wow. <laughs> Sonic's just mashing that right, A button. Save. Middle light punch. Okay, nice we have block. one meter, one more hit confirmed. This is it. Ooh, he tried but to teleport out, but that level they caught. Yeah. Yeah, did not let Dragon Bite be the pressure while he just blocks. Did not right. respect it. Fuzzy can't let this get to him. He has to stay in column right here. Yeah, keep his composure, find the gap. It's just a solo Fuqua. Gets the kill. One and one. This is the only Eliza left in the tournament. Ooh, oh, this guy gets a segment. I don't drop this fuzzy. Please don't drop this fuzzy. Please don't drop this. Thank God. Oh my God, he's got it. Let's go, okay. fuzzy. Two one. Fuzzy this is one point. game away from knocking out Sonic Fox. Just talking about earlier how fuzzy snugs Kumite happened when it was East Coast versus the World. 
Yeah, that was crazy. He slayed every opponent. He's about to say Except Sonic. 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 He's yes. getting his run back right here. This is it. This, this is, is the it. run back. I believe in Fuzzy. Oh, I'm so nervous, dude. Oh, but we got the hit from Sonic Fox right there. Got the counter hit. Yo, Yo about this is, even if he loses this game, he still has one more, so it's That's fine. That's true. He has an extra life, but he, he shouldn't act like that. He should keep stay focused. He should know that if he's going to lose this match, he has to get as much data as possible. But it's Ooh, best to win right here. What do you mean? He stayed at a distance where it would... Uh, oh, gets the Argus reset. Time. Counter hit. Sonic, what are you pressing? Okay, Philly is out of there. Definitely okay, gonna, gonna DHT this quickly. Finish this combo off. Gets the conversion. No, drops it. Doesn't press the second hit of standing hard punch. Fuzzy, no. That's huge. I hear from the cats. Oh, he tried a die kick. I understand why. But at that range, those cats are gonna hit. Yeah, absolutely. And gets the grab reset there. He can't. He can't let this get to him. That's the thing. Yeah. Play Snugs is definitely a very well composed player, but something like that. That's a. That's like a set losing a uh, drop right there. Well, I hope not. <laughs> hey, ideally, he's going to want to kill Philia as an assist. Mm -hmm. That's probably his best bet here. Good blocks. The drill makes up right there. This mid screen double vortex that's also powerful. Yes, he utilizes out. Hey, it looks like meter. Sonic's about to even it up 2 2. Yeah, I mean, if there is a character that can make this comeback, it is double. Oh, but that level Billy 3 is, is definitely out. not how you do it. Unless Sonic Fox disrespects uh, all of this. Hey. Sonic is smart enough to just sit there and block. Okay. He knows it doesn't actually cross up. Yeah. Alright. Gets the punish there. And even though Fuqua does negative 2 damage, this should be enough to get the kill. No, it's not. I spoke too soon. Uh, this Chips him out, though. Oh, he went teabag. Every time. <laughs> Oh, he's looking a little shaken, a little confused. He's like, okay, uh, gotta Sonic's, make sure the second hit of standing hard punch I'm not sure what that expression is. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sure what that means there, right there, Sonic. <laughs> but I think, I think Fuzzy got this. It all comes down to this round start right here. Who gets the first hit? Both players playing really defensively. Not really sure. He's going to go down with white. Oh. Gets the nice hit there. It hits him with the overhead. Classic okay. Philia. Yeah, fuzzy spacing was just a little bit off there. He allowed Sonic oh, in the position there. That's unfortunate. He's gonna do mad work on that double. But was able to cross nice. super out of there. Drops the link. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> oh wow, that's crazy. He got the hit, and it was punishable on me. Punishable on hit. Throw. Oh, nice. If there's any position Fuzzy wants to be in, it's this right here. All right, ops to fight this double. Uh, let's just hope this combo drops because uh, Squiggly's a little difficult to combo. Goes to the monster conversion. Definitely not going to kill now. Uh, yeah, he's oh. just keeping a safe killing character. Yeah, okay, okay. So he's going to burn all his meter. Oh, all down to Eliza. Yeah. I believe in Fuzzy. I think he can do it. Oh, comes for the winning setup. Fox it, makes the first bait safe. Oh, it looks like it's it. Oh, that's Quite unfortunate. Fuzzy. Sonic Fox will be moving forward. Fuzzy Snugs was eliminated, but not before giving Sonic Fox a run for his money. That's yeah, an incredible definitely. play. I'm really looking forward to how Fuzzy Snugs plays going forward. Fuzzy underscore <laughs> scores Snugs. <laughs> Guys, look out for him. <laughs> Next up. Sonic, you're off stage. <laughs> 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 oh, here comes the wing. Boom. Was it? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Oh. So from one failure over to the other. Alright. Sonic to wing. Probably the best Philly out there, Wing Zero. Yeah. Best solo failure, if nothing else. Yeah, I was actually talking to a few other players about this. Well, mm -hmm. Philly has really fallen off. It used to be on a lot of teams, but now there's only three in this top 24. Yeah. And, uh, or maybe actually only two. I'm not actually positive. Wing Zero, solo Philly, just plays who he loves. Definitely. Tried asking before, how does he do it? What's, he, what's going through his mind? He has no idea. <laughs> he just feels Philly. He just, he just gets it. It's in the zone. I understand exactly what he means. You yeah. can't really think when you play Philly. You just have to feel. You just have to feel. Don't think, just feel. The epitome of a rushed out character. 
against Psychopath, who likes to play Peacock as a rushdown. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it's wow. an interesting matchup. 1v1. He immediately sets up Lenny, making Air Show George making all that safe. Oh no, Wing oh. not aware of the bomb. Yeah, Luckily, this is Lenny's both boxes. solos, so they didn't do that much. Yeah. They do have a lot more help to get through just because this is solo v solo. Bang, bang, bang. Forcing him to respect it. Oh wow, got it with a sweep just before Airshow George hits. Mm -hmm. This is bringing back memories of uh, fighting Cisco Kid on PSN. <laughs> Good old times. <laughs> yeah. All right, Psychopath take the first uh, quote unquote stock off of Wing Zero. Oh man. oh man, he really knows what to do against Willie. He knows all the options here. Yeah, absolutely. Space is out there, gets hit with a medium there, but unfortunately oh, not able to convert. One hit, this is all he needs. All right. Like, that was all of first base too, all three of those hits, that's crazy. Like, we oh, know wow, this is setup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think this is it for the He's round. Showing off the Philly that's appeal. It. There we go. No meter. Just like that, you were right, just one touch, that's all he needed. That's Gets it. the air throw, here we go. All right. Let it blend. Queen Psychopath in the blender. Oh, he's back out. He's back I'm sure out. Wing is more than enough familiar with a uh, punch move at this point. Psychopath loves that button. Main way of getting out. All right, force them to respect all of this. Now Massive he, chip damage. This he could have risked the Gregor there, but he didn't want to risk the bullet RNG. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get that low one. Yeah, that one little pellet. Ooh. Oh, smart Gregor there, though. Off the wall bounce. Right, he can do it the touch here, he needs. for sure. Oh, got yeah. that overhead. That's perfect. Has it set up into level three. This might be it. Oh, goes this for an air throw reset just to make it, it safe. Wing goes for a complicated combo, even though he really doesn't need to. <laughs> so Wing, game one. That was a close <laughs> game. Even he can't believe he won. Yeah, he's surprised that happened. Second like, like, yeah, that was going to happen. I, I got touched. <laughs> All right. Sets up a light item. Sets up Lenny Bomb as well. Bomb is on screen. Let's get to the other side to try to push him into oh, Lenny. Doesn't matter. It was that a trick. driving bomb is really cheap. The way it comes from <laughs> uh, the back of the screen, so he can actually cross her up. Yeah, good old boxcar George. All right, George's day out is also doing plenty of work, making everything so threatening, so safe as well. This might be it for this round. Oh, he dropped it. Thank oh, okay, interesting. Gives Wing a chance. You never want to give Wing a chance. Yeah, he'll take the chance and run a mile. Oh. All right, finishes off with the sweep though. Psychopaths Peacock looking very healthy right now. All right, gets oh, the nice. throw. Nice point. Converts there. Does not need to use meter. Yeah, you're right. He was being very aware of the punch move. He knows the spacing and when he likes to use it. All that yeah. stuff. And going into this matchup, that's like the main thing you got to study, right? It's mm -hmm. like how often the psychopath to use punch move, and it's a lot. The psychopath being smart though. He's actually only throwing it out sparingly. Kind of ex like a, the white in front of me game, expecting Wing to be adapting to the punch move as well. Yeah, he keeps it pretty safe. Philly back at full screen. It's not where he wants to be. Yeah, I like the way Wing uses that M hairball just to get in. Very good uh, horizontal movement there. And oh, drops it. the it. heavy yeah. item. That's it. He doesn't even need to throw out the bomb. He's doing it anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all that extra meter just for fun. All right, Psychopath takes a game off of Wing. Oh, two straight rounds too. Mm -hmm. This is crazy though, because like Psychopath is. Kind of a, he's been around forever, mm -hmm. but he's always improving. Every time you see him, he's just a little bit better, a little bit better. Well, that's what you want. You gotta see improvement. Yeah, you gotta see improvement. You can't see stagnation. Psychopath yeah. is definitely not a stagnated player. Nice. He knew that was gonna miss. All right, you got um, him in the with the OTG. Tries to oh, set up he a, really went for that low. Yeah, really wanted that trip card. And I'm still surprised he went for that low. That was like in the perfect like punch me ring. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I saw the item drop. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go for his face. Adam disappears if I hit him, right? Got him overhead, but didn't convert. Didn't believe in the hit. Ooh, dash can't delay. Too late. Or didn't confirm oh, it. Either one. Weaving between each other's hitboxes right in the air. Mm -hmm. Psychopath comes out on top with that hit confirmed and is, is converting all the way through. Kind of wants to even this up. Get I actually really like this matchup. You gotta thread the needle in between all the uh, Peacock's items and bombs. Mm -hmm. Definitely have to lose I it. find it fun at least. And Peacock, I feel like it's also fun for Peacock's side as well, right? Because you gotta vary up how much or, and when you're throwing your projectiles a lot. Mm -hmm. Throw that affiliate movement off. 
Oh man, that's it for this round already. As long as he doesn't drop. <laughs> yeah. He really doesn't need to go for these resets. He's going for them anyway. I guess he's like, oh wow, just really, really wants to make a to go for these resets. Oh, he shouldn't have made oh, that. Oh no, no, that's, that's a big don't chance. Don't lose this game because of this wing. Oh, but that oh. item drop came down a little bit too late. That meant that wing was able to weave in between. Wing shaking his head. It's like, oh, wing I should not have given them that chance. Wing knows he could have lost that round that way. <laughs> I would definitely say Wing is a kind of a, an emotional player. Well, he's definitely mm -hmm. a veteran. If he let something like that get to him, like that would have been big. Sometimes you gotta keep it as simple as possible. Mm -hmm. Wing's not really thinking about that. He's just he's doing what he does. Yeah. Like I said, Philly players don't really think. They just kind of feel, <laughs> and that's what Wing's doing right now. Yeah, it's working for him well right now. He's, he's up to a one. Psychopath needs to win this to bring this to game five. Ooh, great hairball. Reset? Yeah. See, after that situation, really can't hairball again, so oh. you kind of have to reset. Yeah. Fake teleport there. Wing plays patiently, gets a grab. Once again, very conscious of that punch move, which is grab vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So in fighting Felio, you have to kind of know uh, when she can and can't use hairball on a combo. That usually indicates the reset point of the combo, and that's when you got to watch out. I see. Is there a grab? Wing is like... 10 for 10 on these air throws. I'm surprised. Oh, there we go. Another it. one. Bringing it up to oh, 11. Oh, he figured it out. He caught on. Might be a little too late, though. Yeah. yeah definitely too late. Wing closing it out. So I can't let Psychopath learn too much. Yeah. Wing made that last round look easy. Yeah. Wow. Definitely in complete control over it. Got the down with the first two games. Fully understood this opponent. <laughs> Knew not to give him another chance like he had previously. Yeah, you don't want to do that, especially against Peacock. But I don't want to take anything away from Psychopath. He he got pretty close. I oh mean, yeah. There were a lot of times where we thought it's like, oh wow, he might actually end up going into Psychopath's favor. It all favor. comes down to, can you keep Billy out? No, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. If Billy gets a hit, she wins. Peacock, she doesn't. You know, Peacock wins. So Wings Zero will be moving Very forward. Simple. Next up on stage, we will have Ooh. Mr. Peck and To Kill Sage. Now this is a fun matchup. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I love these two players. Mr. Peck representing EU scene. Sage representing the East Coast, <laughs> of course. Yes. I know he used to run those New York locals. I don't know if he does that anymore. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, but Pretty he sure was he always at the grind, like trying to make a scene and push it wherever he could. Yeah. All right, Sage. Sage looking content right now. Yeah. I think, I, I think you he see knows. content in his eyes. Yeah. yeah, I think I think he knows what to do, right, how to gotta execute it. Like he's, he's a little bit confident. Okay. Not not 100 percent, but he knows what he's doing. All right. So you don't think he's gonna spend a lot of the first set getting information, the first round getting information? Mm. You think he knows what he wants to do going? In? Yeah, I think he I think he's gonna go with the game plan, see how it works, mm -hmm. and if it doesn't work, he's gonna adjust from there. Okay. But I think he knows what he wants to do right now. All right. So you know Sage as well as anyone does. Yeah. <laughs> how uh how do you think he's gonna start off this round? Aggressive? Oh, yeah. Very aggressive. You're going to call assists and uh, do something. <laughs> well, you're definitely <laughs> right. That was definitely something. Immediately putting Peacock into a corner, not where a place where most Peacocks want to be. That brass tapping him. Yeah, the brass assist is going to be a huge factor in this matchup. If he loses Big Band, it's kind of over for him. And snaps and in that band because he want to get rid of that band Peck right knows away. That for sure. He knows he needs to get rid of Big Band. Oh, the bomb is on screen. It's always so. Ooh, <laughs> Rotex Bayo. It's like no, okay. man stays. Yeah, Sage is not gonna even try to block in this matchup. <laughs> Just get in. <laughs> Chips away at the belt pride. Brass excellently used for counter call there, and gets a hit on Peacock as well. Yeah, really and Brass like getting mass value. I really like how he doesn't call Brass right away every single time. He actually times it for when he thinks Peacock is gonna throw a bomb. He doesn't just like randomly throw it out, you know. Goes for the. Uh, Faking out an instant overhead, he just makes the cross up with the assist, gets a hit confirmed, gets a kill on Peacock, oh, wow. catches the robo. He did an empty hop into another high, that's crazy. Alright, conversion off of Accelabella, or as I like to call it, Walmart Brand A Train. <laughs> nice, Smart GC, so getting a little bit of health back on Big Band right here. Burn that extra meter. We're gonna need the DHC if we want to kill. Yeah. There we go with the SSJ. Now we'll keep him banned in. But that's against, completely fine. Yeah, I mean, it's we don't have to deal with Peacock anymore. Oh, so that was, got that was the riskiest tag I've ever seen. I'm not sure where I went for that. 
Doesn't right. seem to matter though. Yeah, picks it up. Nice conversion. Oh, actually does not continue. Interesting. Wow. He does a delayed wolf shoot to get the uh, connection. I'm really surprised Peck didn't just level three there. Yeah. Or do anything. He just took there and took the hit. I feel like Sage is trying to make a statement where it's like, I know you're not going to match. Like, watch me. Mm -hmm. He's doing a lot of unsafe things here. See, I think Peck is saving the level threes and the uh, the flash kicks for the next few rounds. The next few and rounds. Sage doesn't expect it. He's trying to condition him into thinking he'll just keep blocking, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, Call the Pillar immediately backing off, but mm -hmm. Parasol took a lot of damage for that. Yeah, Brass deals with all. Nice throw. Yeah. At Pika, Empty jump throw. That par damage on Parasol was by Peacock some time, but Peacock was not able to make use of it. Here we are, Peacock in the corner. Peacock does not want to be. Does weave out, just as I say that. Sage is so good about uh, counter calling and punishing assists. Yeah, look at that. Parasol's almost already dead. She hasn't even been on point. One for the instant overhead. Smart absolute oh, guard. Doing that for the pressure. Nice. Calling that beam assist, but unfortunately Brass powers through. Now even Robo is taking like at least half health. Yeah, wow. All that red health and now a single character has been on screen. Now if I was Sage, if I see an assist, I would just uh, super right there. Yeah. Just to try and kill it. In the same sense, though, I don't think Peck wants to ever drop this combo, though, right? He's, he's, yeah, he's needs to buy as much it. time as possible. All right, so Sage's uh, main get-in tool is kind of dead right now. So we'll see how he deals with this. Yeah, that means that red health is going to be ticking back slowly. Sage is now on a timer to make Ooh, all his efforts worth it. Is, wow. That fridge item drop. Mm -hmm. No DC. Smart. Despite the oh. counter hit, just opts to get full screen again. Okay, Peck is definitely catching on. You see these uh, high tags here. Yeah, it's not nice, going to work just much longer. It. And Peacock's dead. Okay. Right, Huge part of Peck's team out of the picture now. Yeah. As long as he doesn't drop this. Okay, okay. That rubbles in. Goes for the tick throw. Nice throw. Put him back in the corner. Great setup. Oh! That's, that's basically unblockable. You're not, you're not blocking that yeah. one. Alright. So Robo out. One third of Mr. Peck's team to go. Great air throw. Oh! Wow, that was crazy. Yeah, that's what Sage does best. Bella mix ups. Oh, wow, and Sage showing show respect after all of that. That was the most nerve wracking throw I've ever seen. That was just like a pixel off from actually grabbing. Nice. Oh, there we go, we got that counter hit. The shot guy can't throw. Always. Yeah. We got that 1.3 scale, and this BNB should be more than enough to kill, but actually went for a reset. Oh. This here is Sage, and wow. Right, he's gotta Peck watch out. really wanted to save that meter for that last Whoa. character, but wow. Sage was able to get the hit confirmed, and now this is the battle of damage we're about to see. And three meter to back it up. Here we go. <laughs> Those stare down situations where you're not quite sure what the other guy's gonna do. Mm -hmm. Always dangerous. Peck thinking, hmm. Like Peck was thinking he should throw again since it worked the last few times. Yeah. And Sage kinda caught on to that. So Sage is a step ahead in this matchup for sure. Yeah. I mean, he's got Mr. Peck so scared to reversal, right? There were so many opportunities where um, Pillow would have worked, but here, by, here and there, Sage is sprinkling in these situations where, no, I'm baiting it. Just to scare Mr. Peck. So, like, Mr. Peck doesn't know when's a safe opportunity to try and reverse out. Definitely. Oh, wow. Red burst bait ducks under it, but not ready to get the heavy counter hit damage. All right, now Peck's doing the one doing the assist punishing. Big Ben at half health. Right. He's still at it too. Goes for the beat. Yeah, Big Ben's dead. Oh, now with the gigantic right. arm chance. Almost. Yeah. I mean, I guess he wanted to conserve health from that peacock. He knew that he would have seen the gigantic arm was coming. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a huge loss for Pack. I think it was worth it. Good trade. Yeah. Now we do have Robo Point though. This is weird though, because you don't really want to go in, but you need to go in to get that double snap. You really Alright, we got the grab. He's, he's got a snap. Yeah. He has to. And we got the right character. Let's go. I would hope by this point you would get the right character when you snap. Yeah, that's a good point. This is rough. He oh. needs to call Big Band to get in, but he can't, or else he's going to die. Ops to use OTG there after the Magnet Super. Goes for an early reset. Not getting the conversion, unfortunately. Ooh! Run stop and a Super. He just knew. It's a medium counter hit damage, but it's all he's going to need. That's the points! Making this win legitimate. Nice tech. Great tech, Mr. Peck. 
Wow, the spacing on that grab. Okay. Alright, one for oh. this cheeky low reset. Yeah, I wouldn't have gone for that reset if I kept the combo going, but that's just me. You want to get that damage on Parasol. Mm -hmm. Parasol right, Peacock with the pillar, you want to get as much damage on uh, Parasol as you can, so you can kind of call a big man killer. Doesn't look like it's a problem anymore, though. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason she's the anchor on the team. She's mm -hmm. super valuable. Now that she's out of the picture, it's just a solo Peacock left against such a, such a terrifying team. I believe in uh, Pex Peacock. I think you can do it if you really want to. Super. Maybe not super right now, though. Not while he's getting hit. Yeah, I mean, he needs to get out of this pressure. But if he finds a gap, if he finds an opportunity. Oh, it doesn't look like he will. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heavy nervous is that can Keep it simple with that OTG. Okay, see, he takes it. Right, Good dodge in this effect, go. though. Great showing. Yeah, it's great showing from him. Um, glad he was able to make it out. Mm -hmm. It's always a treat to be able to watch his play. So it looks like the final match we have is a Swift Mock Dash versus Cloud King. Yeah. Oh, this is crazy. I never expect both these players to be losers. And now here they are, both Wait, fighting each who other. Sent, who sent in uh, Swift Fox TJ losers? Huh? Who sent uh, Swift Fox losers? Dash was sent two losers by um, Rap. No, it wasn't Rabble. It was. It was Rabble. It was Rabble. Wow. Yes. Both uh, Sonic and TJ in losers. Yeah. Like normally, these are players that are like stable on winners' this side. This last top year's four. champion over here. Yeah, last year's champion is facing elimination and loses. I think if anyone can do it, it's Cloud. I think these two play a lot though, so they kind of know each other's habits. Yeah. That's so. always the most exciting thing. So you never know what's going to happen around start because like like how far into each other's mind have they gone? They might just play it safe. They might just try to see. The, their no, no, no. TJ but never like, plays it safe. Well, okay. It's fair fact, <laughs> never plays it safe. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Like he doesn't know the mean of the back motion, you know. He doesn't he doesn't hold back to block, he holds <laughs> forward. It's Peacock, it's like how are you gonna throw projectors if you're holding back? I believe in Cloud character. though, he's the only Valentine here. Yeah. He's the only representative of that character. Mm hmm Supposedly Valentine Peacock's a bad matchup. We'll see how this goes. Bad for Cloud? Bad for Peacock. Bad for Peacock? Because oh, he can okay. just uh bypass, get in. Oh that's right. I mean, you have supposedly on paper. Got a tight knuckle, like covering a lot of space, though, mm -hmm. right? So it's tricky. I don't know. So we're gonna have to see Cloud really taking advantage of the fact that uh, that lock and load is gonna be going to cool down a lot. All right. All right, both these players getting ready. Getting the both bad players, of course. Figure. Dancing skeletons. Got to distinct the controllers. Yes. You want any accidental pauses here? Mm -hmm. No accidental pauses, no input delay. No accidental skeletons. <laughs> All skeletons here are on purpose. <laughs> Crowd going wild for Loud yeah. King over here. Cloud looking confused with this button select. Right, what color is he gonna choose? That's the most important part. All red. All red. I don't. I don't believe in red. Don't I don't think. Red. I don't think he's gonna do it with the red colors. You don't think he's gonna do it with the red colors? Mm -hmm. He's been using red all tournament. Should be using yellow. Match Should have been using color. See, when there's a bunch of yellow on screen, sometimes you don't know what's going on. That can really benefit you. Yeah. Choose your opponent's colors. Choose your opponent's colors. Ah, all right, all right. So That's even they don't know what's going on. <laughs> right away, throwing out George's day out. Nice hit from here. Oh, great start from Swift Fox. Yeah, he's going to slowly push this corner and then probably set up an opportunity to build up space. No, goes for the instant Valentine overhead. Valentine dead already. All right. Doesn't need to spend the meter, does it anyway? Yeah, he's going to throw the bomb on the screen. Any second now. Throwing out Argus using lock and oh, load to, to make nice. uh, the cross up safe. Does this not do it again. Basically a green bar for Swift Fox. No, he got chipped above it. Oh, there's uh -oh. a bomb. Get a perfect there's sound of the question. See Melanie what I, using backdash to stay above it. What I wanted to see is uh, Cloud kind of reflect the bomb as he does the combo. Oh, but I guess that would take uh, too much awareness. Yeah. I'm sure it's possible. No, TJ is definitely very liberal with throwing out Lenny's. So it's not impossible that we'd be seeing that. Right, oh, right there. Oh, that, that was a perfect point. opportunity. <laughs> That was it. That's what he needed to do. See, if Cloud is going to play Cerebella, he needs that kind of awareness to do that. He needs to really take advantage of everything he's got in this matchup. 
especially against a player like DJ. Mm -hmm. I've talked about uh, multiple times he only plays Cerebellum for the assist for uh, Valentine Poison Mode. I he see. doesn't really play the character that much. <laughs> he gets this far just like that. <laughs> Alright, okay. Cloud's double. Might have some trouble here. Like, you can't really do that jump fire punch when the, the air bomb is right there. Mm -hmm. Text that grab, though, is aware. Double really wants a chance to apply this pressure. Oh, there we go, gets the overhead. Wait Peacock's out of the picture, as long as he doesn't drop. What? <sighs> Cloud. Come on. Let's a raw tag in, too, with no punish. What? That's the TJ Classic. You gotta expect the raw tag. It's gonna come out every single time. Alright, right, Cloud has level 5, please don't use it. Alright, nice. just snaps him out. <laughs> we want that Peacock out of the picture, don't want to deal with this. Respects grab. the punch move, sets up yeah. plenty. Oh, gets air grab, bomb. here it is. Oh, nice. The grab was still in the invincibility as the bomb came out. Cloud, come on! Cloud, <laughs> oh, these, go, are, go. these are not the drops that we need right now. Cloud, please. You're killing me. Okay, All right, he, catch he, the he actually at least. punished his tag, great. All right, all right. Was he trying to bait out the raw tag? I don't oh, know. I'm no. gonna give Cloud the benefit of the doubt. I'm not sure, but it worked. It worked. And that's all that matters, really. Yeah. Cloud, no! Uh oh. Cloud's laughing. He's upset at himself. He knows that should not have happened. That's three drops. Three killer drops. Cloud, why? <laughs> Cloud, come on. Cloud, if you're watching the archive, why? why? Tell me. Come on, we desynced all the <laughs> controllers. You can't play lag this time. You really can't. Cloud living up to my expectations right now. <laughs> like, I really expected nothing less from him. Alright, lock him out, try and build space. Oh, okay. Weeze right over it, gets a hard ca or a counter hard. Yeah. Hard counter hit. But turns it around with his assist getting caught. Going for unsafe setups at a time like this. Going for the mid screen with the Lenny to add to it, but unfortunately not ready to adapt to that. I mean, who is? Come on, Cloud. All right. Wow. Okay. All right. There we go. Chips him out with the bang, <laughs> bang, bang. That's all I can say about this. But come on, Cloud. All right. All right. Dash is just thinking here, like, yeah, well, I guess we just take those. Exactly. Oh, that's like, if that. anyone if is uh, able to convert off your mistakes, it's Swift Fox Dash. Oh, absolutely. Ready to take advantage of every inch you give him. Go a mile with every single one of them. And just like that. Cloud looks distressed. <laughs> he has a smile on his face, but he is dying inside it's a, right Yeah, it's now. a painful smile right there. It's like a, when you go to a family reunion you don't want to be a part of, and then they tell you to take a picture. It's like, oh, eh. no. And Cloud is kind of uh, mind broken right now. He doesn't really know what's going on. He's just kind of getting hit. Mm -hmm. After those last two games, I don't really blame him, though. Yeah, I mean, it's said time and time again. Skullgirls is a very emotional game. Like, it it's, has a way of getting stressful. people's skin. It's super stressful. Especially if you're playing a character against, like, Peacock. Mm -hmm. and a couple of mistakes like that. Like, TJ gets such a huge advantage. I mean, Cloud's got to recompose. He has Cloud such a to... nice first game, too. That's what's upsetting. Mm -hmm. Triple up like that, like... There we go, we get the stacker, get the <laughs> He's getting a lot of these reflects, but it's not really converting too much off him. I, I expect the high attack right... Right... Oh, okay, got a counter there. hit. <laughs> there we go, was just waiting for that raw attack to come out. At least Cloud had the same thought I did. You know it's coming. Ooh, that was a weird... Oh. Alright, uh. here we go. I lost track around. of which fellow was which for a second. Alright. Okay, not looking good for Cloud. But he can still do this. Kind of I've seen his double come right back here. before. Yeah. All right. As we always say, if there's a character that can bring it all back, it's always double. Double is always ready to do something in every situation, but it's not looking good, especially with that hit confirm oh, into Beam Super. That's unfortunate. That's a fast three. Oh, Poor Cloud. It dashes favor. That's so rough. It's so rough never having a moment to breathe and recompose himself. All right. Good job to switch Fox Ash, though. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. We thank will be going much. out for a break. Mm -hmm. Join us for Top 8 very soon. Yes. For now, I'm Duckator. And I am the Crank Machine. And we're out. Thanks for watching.